Uh, oof, that was weird. What's up, neutral? All right, and greetings, Internet Sojourners, and welcome back to the MMocracy stream. And uh, it's Thursday. It's day 132 of the solo self-found XR Necromancer Challenge. And I am so happy to be here. Neutral Rockets uh, has already entered the chat, and he says he predicts K-Sora, specifically the library, and success with obtaining loot. So you're right on two out of three, and uh, we'll see how how the third one goes. But yes, uh, we're going to head into Kesora tonight, and uh, we're going to try to get two pieces of loot. And those pieces of loot are... Let me go ahead and bring this up here. So here is the Spectral Librarian. He's in the Kesora Library. And we're going to hope to get the Kunzar Cloak for those two uh, extra points of int. And the Spirit Tome for those six extra points of int. So potentially tonight we could walk out of here with eight uh, total pieces, or excuse me, points of intelligence. So that's where the library is. Uh, so not too hard to get to, definitely easier to get to than the five towers. And, um, yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and head down there now. I just need to, uh, grab some, uh, milk from my girl clock sweetsie. She's, she's my number one. 
And I am going to take a risk and I am not going to change my bind point. We are bound in Fury or uh, Frontier Mountains. So if I gate out of Kesora, I'll be gating to Frontier Mountains, but then that'll get me back into Droga. And I can continue to level. All right, there we go. So we've got our milk, we got our muffins. Still got a little bit of bone chips left, so we're good there. It's time to head into Kesora. Kesora is actually one of my more uh, favorite zones in Kunark. It's definitely a necromancer's playground. There's a lot to do down there uh, on the undead side. And it's really not extremely hard. Uh, once you get to a level where your lull works uh, effectively, if you go there early, like early 30s, it can be kind of rough. If you go there at 40, easy peasy. And uh, decent fast experience too. It's also very conveniently located really close in the Field of Bone to Cavalus. So it's a nice quick run to get over there. And once you learn the navigation of the zone, it's not super hard to get down uh, to the library or the Five Tower area. I am looking at the map here just to kind of refresh myself. That's right, you make a left, you drop down, you make a right, you go through the spiders, and then down to the library. Okay. I've got it. It's all up here. Nothing can go wrong. Definitely not because uh, I'm bound so far away. Nothing could ever go wrong when you're bound really far away and you're uh, trying to do something different, right? I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, buffs here now. That way I have a mana regening while I run. Wow. Shadow Sight did not want to cast. Yeah, hopefully everybody's having a good Thursday. First full week back at work for me, and we're already going into a three-day weekend, and I'm like, man, we got, we got work to do. What's going on? But okay, I'll take my three days. And the year has started. We are busy, busy where I work at. But it's good. I like being busy. As for the challenge, 46% towards level 46, ironically. So coming up on halfway through the hell level. Nice, slow, steady progress, but we're making it. We're making it through. And then neutral rockets. I noticed you're uh, sitting at 54. Very nice. I think you were 54 last time, but I'm going to say it again. Very nice. You're going to beat me to 60 for sure. So here's K Sora. We're going to head down in.
Neutral Rocket says, I worked on my Howling Stone key and Words of Darkness the last couple nights. Nice. Did you uh, did you get it? So for K Sora, you need to start out as regular Invis, and then at some point you switch to IVU. So I recommend anybody doing this to have IVU, Invis versus Undead, and regular Invis on your bar if you don't have a Circlet of Shadow. I need to get me a Circlet of Shadow. Oh, we can't have that. I didn't have C and Viz on me. Neutral says, I got the Howling Stones key. That was a bit of fun and just got the book from the Icy Goblin, which was a long, boring camp. What is that? What is uh, Words of Darkness? Necro Clicky. I'll have to... Well, I can't do it until I'm level 60, but... I'll have to check that out. Okay, so I'm going to first person here so I can see the jump. And then you just want to... Whenever you do this, you just want to drop off like that. Uh, you don't want to go all the way to the bottom because you'll take more damage. So you want to hit that first ledge. And then down here, you have to be careful because some of these can see in Viz. Those two cannot, but I'm still not uh, convinced, so I'm sticking to the side of them. Now for here, sometimes you got to run through some stuff. Although it looks like these are... We got lucky, none of these are seeing viz. And then down here, now you want to go to IBU. As you can see, we have undead right here in front of us. Ooh, Spectral Guardian. I need to kill those for that shield. Although, if we get the book, we won't need the shield. And if I remember right, none of these see and viz. Where it gets tricky is a spider paths around down here, although... You look here, there's a couple Ixars camping in this spot. And then uh, what I'm wondering is, are they killing anything in the library? Okay, so they're actually, they said, just about to get started, so I'm wondering if they're going to be taking library spawns. But I'm going to play nice and just see what they're doing. I'm not going to be like, nope, sorry, I'm going in there, because uh, they were here first. And then, yep, we need to get some timers up. And they said Zalgaz was taken. Yeah, this is actually uh, surprising. This is a lot of people in here for once. And the k Sora spawn timer is... Let's see. 21 minutes, I think. 18 minutes. So they did ask me to join their group, but I uh, had to unfortunately explain to them, as I so commonly do, that I'm sol solo cell phone. I'm sure we can kind of just work around each other. I'm actually going to try to move into the library.
So we've got our pet gainer here. And let's go ahead and get Call of Bones up so we turn into a skeleton that regens mana at an abnormally fast rate. And I need a lull. Because we're going to try to pull stuff out of the library. I don't know how many timers we're going to need. Because I haven't ever actually gotten into the library. So I'll just get a handful up here for now. Okay. Okay. We'll just wait for him. Looks like he's doing some work with these guys. Okay, we've got a frenzied gnar. The library is tricky because you can't just invis in there because there's C invis or not C invis, but regular mobs and undead mobs. Ooh, this is a blue. And what is my pet hitting for? He looks like he's hitting for 43. <laughs> so this guy's actually kind of whooping this pet pretty good. I don't want this pet to uh to die so that I can harvest his energy. So I need to keep this thing rooted. Something is healing that frenzied gnar. So we're just going to kind of root right here. Oh, root broke. Just keeping a real close eye on this pet's health. He's he's getting whooped on. Oh, shoot. Yeah, he's catching, this enemy is catching a lot of heals from inside. <laughs> the Nar tried to hit that guy as he ran by. We're going to reclaim Gainer's energy here. And then we'll resummon. We'll get a new pet. Probably a pretty cool spot for a shaman monk duo down here. Alright, so we've got a new pet. But, uh... Yeah, looking in there, there's uh, quite a few enemies I can see, or at least two right here. 
And I kind of want to try to x-ray through the wall, although it looks like they're trying to work their way in there as well. Oh, yeah, here we go. That's where we want to get to right there. There's an enraged spectral librarian inside there. So that's what we want to get to, right? We're going to pull these guys, then we'll just work our way in. We just need a little bit of more, a uh, little bit more mana before we go. Ooh. Oh, that's something he pulled. I was like, ooh, something's running around over here. It's going to be kind of risky because there's other people pulling things. And I'm not really tracking timers on the stuff that they've pulled. It's a little chaotic. This stuff's all like kind of green though, so I'm maybe being a little complacent in not tracking timers and things like that, but I don't think it's going to be too bad trying to fight our way in there. As long as we don't get a low resist while we're trying to do the uh, camp break. Let's try to get this guy lulled. <laughs> Alright, we got him lulled. Let's try to get him lulled. Oh, there's, uh, there's a lot of guys in here. Oh boy, that's bad. <laughs> we got spotted. Just a minor setback. Okay, that's what we want to watch out for. Actually, that's quite a few enemies in there that we're going to have to keep uh, broken. I wonder how feasible this is. All right, back to the drawing board. Another thing I could try is just you charm one and let everything in there kill it, and then you feign. I think charm breaks when you feign. If anybody knows, let me let me know. But that is one other way I could try to do this. So yeah, it looks like if I just try pulling any one of these, I'm going to get a whole room full of enemies. So I'm going to definitely avoid doing that. And I really should have tracked the timer on that nibbler so that, uh, or the gnar or whatever, the sperm monster, because as soon as he respawns, he could like uh, go after me. Did I go mute? No, can you not hear me? Test, test. 
It's definitely showing. Weird. Oh boy. I'm getting out of the way if he uh, tries to pull. Yeah, it might be just the uh, issue on neutral rockets' this side, hopefully, and it's not OBS doing OBS things. What are all these people doing? <laughs> I've never seen this many people in Kesora. Are these guys like... Uh-oh. Oh, uh, this is not good, actually. I've got like three of them on me and it's like chaos down here. <laughs> Everything is fine, yep. I actually really don't care if they kill that rooted one. I think I'm like really gonna piss this group off. Bad time for collarbones to fall off here. Ha <laughs> ha 
Uh, I don't know what's going on, but that guy just like is. Oh my gosh. Pet, no. No, pet, no, get away. <laughs> this is actually I don't I just don't want to train these guys, honestly. Yeah, what's up? No, you're fine. Just keep that door shut. Yeah. Okay, one is about to go down. Oh, root just broke. Get back, get back, get back, peg, get back. Okay, we got one down. Now we just need to deal with the other one. That simplifies things. Poor guy's got to take hits. I'm pretty sure that other, like, duo just moved into the library, though, right as I, like, started pulling stuff out. Oh, sweet. This guy cleared the library for us. Pretty much, like... Oh, yeah, they're, like, they're they're killing the library, and that's the guy I need to kill. Thanks. <laughs> they said, is this the guy you need? It's, that's all right. I'm not going to be like, you guys are jerks. You know, it's... I'm here to have fun, Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm still alive, honestly. We're just going to leech his health for a while and then go from there. I got to see, what is this pet doing damage-wise? <laughs> Looks like 39s. Yeah, he's not even uh, anywhere close to a good pet. So we just we just don't want him to die. Oh, they said that's... Oh, they've got the librarian rooted. I said I'll try to get him. Looks like he's taking some heals. Uh oh, here he comes. <laughs> I 
Looks like we're all playing pretty nice together. See if we can knock this guy out. Oh, wow, we actually. Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, oh. <laughs> what just happened? Did they dupe me? <laughs> what on earth? Did you all see that? Oh, oh no. It like spawned these little guys and then they it didn't even show the damage it was I don't I've never even heard. We got to look at the wiki. I I had no idea that was going to happen. Did you see 500 damage? I didn't see, like, any damage. Okay. Enraged Librarian. A freed soul. Spawn two through six after the death of an enraged... They're level one. The firebomb spell cast on death can hit also hit other freed souls, causing them to die and cast it as well. Firebomb spell it decreases hit points by five hundred. What a sadistic thing to do. That's terrible. Okay, we got to run back. I'm eating my words right now. Ah, it's fine. It's Kesora. It's low level. No big deal. What could go wrong? Jeez, Pete. And it was because the pet was hitting him and causing him to explode. This game sometimes, I swear. Grimlust, what's up? Good evening. How am I? I am great. I died. I'm naked. How are you? I had no idea that killing a... Um, killing a enraged librarian would cause a... freed soul to spawn that uh, hits for 500 upon death and it's level 1 so the pet was just hitting these things and causing them to explode so we got absolutely rocked by that and I didn't bind yeah 2 to 6 of them neutral rocket said I didn't bind anywhere near Kesora because I wasn't super worried about dying and actually I was I was playing pretty pretty good necro. Like I was keeping stuff rooted, I was rotting, I had multiple ones rooted, I was managing my pet's health. And uh Yeah. That's that's your reward for doing well. <laughs> Cause EQ hates you and it wants you to know it. That was painful. Like things were things were getting good and viable. Like I was I was getting um 
the mobs down, work down, got like, shoot, I'd gotten two or three percent uh, of a level down there already. Then that happened. Grimlust says, yeah, I think those are enchanter epic mobs. They are definitely epic. The firebomb is AOE. I wonder if the other guys are okay. Yeah. I'm going to ask him. He said he got a sage's battle staff off the uh, the mob. I just told him he can keep it. Sorry, I'm just chatting with uh, this guy and letting him know I'm I don't don't do uh, trades. So he looted that uh, staff off there. That's okay. I wouldn't have been able to make it back before it rotted, so I wouldn't feel right uh, accepting a trade from him, even if I did kill the mob. And now we head back. Long way to go. I almost think like the XP in Kesora is actually still better than the XP in um Droga. I may just hit up my old five tower spot. But yeah, they did uh they did live. They are okay, so we're glad for that. That was a messy lull resist. And then uh I would say a decently well fought fight on my part where I was able to hold off those two mobs and kind of root rot them down. Dealt with a severely underleveled pet, but was still able to keep the pet alive and kill both of those. Then killed the Librarian. And then he spawned those things. Painful. Did you, uh, Grimlust, if you're still here, did you, um, stream tonight? Or today? And Neutral Rocket says, might as well get Zalgaz Fang. I do actually want to try killing Zalgaz at some point. So I think I'm going to I'm going to actually bind in uh Kabbalist or close to Kabbalist.
because the experience was moving like really well in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get uh, get my body. Have a look around, see kind of what's going on down there, and then possibly gate back out and then go into Kesora and go down to the five tower area. And I can still kill Spectral Guardians down there for the, a chance at the shield. And then I'm going to get to work publishing my stream schedule on Twitch, but it's going to be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. I just need to nail down a time for Saturday. Then that'll give me time to work on videos in between, because I realize I haven't made a Monsters and Memories video in a few, probably about a month actually. I need to continue to work on making some educational and promotional videos for, for that game. Or not promotional, but... Yeah, I mean, I guess it's sort of promotional. It's not a commercial, but it's like, hey, check out this game. It's a good game. I want it to uh, succeed, so... Almost back to cab. I wish you could tell how many times you've died. I wish like slash deaths was a command that worked. Look at this giant fort. There's like nobody here. I would have loved this when I was level 30. That is a field that is ripe and ready for harvest. I loved the giant fort. Simplest, easiest experience you can get. Good money too. Now I'm forced to go all the way down into dungeons where mobs explode. We could try our hand at a, at a little uh, drain tanking, too. I kind of enjoy drain tanking. Neutral says, have to admit, that was pretty funny in an un unexpected way to die. It was. I'm, I'm not mad. Like, normally, whenever I die, I'm at least a little bit mad. Especially during a hell level, but I'm not mad. I agree with you. That was pretty funny. I, honestly, the, the one thing I feel bad about is just that it was like such a disruption for those two that were grouping down there. That wasn't really intended to work out that way. Like I was trying to just fight my way into the library and then I'd be out of their way. I'm not really used to having other people in there. That was the most people I've ever seen down there in Kesora. Shoot, even when it was like double experience or bonus experience, I was virtually the only person down there. Anytime I got on. Well, we're back in cab and we're we're going to bind outside a cab. And I'll probably do the rest of 45 in uh Kesora.
It's a good spot. I'm also keeping my eye out for a lower level shaman that I can give a, a weapon I got in Droga away to. It's like a whiz plus four dagger. Neutral Rockets asks, have you found more words for DMF? I have not. Um... I did the Kabbalist 500 before I started the stream and found no good words. That is something I need to do more often. All right, let's find Bind Affinity. There it is. Neutral Rocket says, I'm sure I've seen them on the vendors before, at least a while back. Yeah, I stopped checking vendors regularly quite a while ago. And I'm sure I hurt myself by doing that. All right, we need to get a little bit of health before we just go rushing in there. I ran with a lure of death on and uh, drained my health down pretty good, but it got my mana back up. And I did look into going to raptors and i don't think doing raptors at this level is feasible from everything i saw people are soloing them in their 50s so i'm thinking if i tried to do that now it would be pretty messy neutral rocket says sounds about right probably I could go out there and do Spearox, but the zone experience multiplier is lower out there. So I decided against that. And uh, Grimlust, you were right. The freed souls were for the Enchanter epic quest. Or the Enraged Spectral Librarian is for the Enchanter Epic. Ugh. But that's how you learn. This is why I would never play a hardcore challenge in this game. There's just too many, like, things that you just can't anticipate. Hmm, one thing that's going to be an issue is if any of those enemies up above are C and Viz, I don't have a steel skin. I don't have Jaspers for steel skins. I guess I could, could go buy some. I think it'll be all right.
We should be able to just run by him and feign. We'll just wait till we're nice and healthy. Trooper Terror, that's my guy. He's an absolute unit. He kills everything that moves. So we're going to do the death gauntlet into Kesora. Check out what's going on back down at the library. If it's decently open, I may try to get back in. If not, we'll go to the tower area. But yeah, that was a that was a pretty funny way to die. Although at, at the very first like as soon as I saw that I died, I was like, "What? What just happened?" Got to watch out for Targish in here. All right, so back in case Sora, we're going to put IVU up on the bar. We're going to go to first person. And just drop down here. All these should still be the non C and Viz ones. Yep. So luckily nobody killed any of these spiders. Ah. Okay, we'll just feign you off. He ambushed me. Ah, shoot. What a jerk. He turned around right as soon as he got to the top. All right, now we're IVU'd. It's really dark in here. And hopefully there's no spiders.
And it looks like that group is still here. Okay. Now we have all our stuff. So we'll hang out in med. I wonder if they've pulled from the library at all. But yeah, there's going to be a little bit of downtime here while we get uh, set back up. That's got to be pretty good experience in a duo here. Looks like it would be fun. I'm a little jealous. So the reason why I have a lure of death on and not a uh, call of bones is I won't. As long as I'm sitting, I actually don't bleed down health. I may actually at this point be regenerating some health. And I'm regenerating mana at a little bit faster uh, rate than normal. Yeah, I'm actually regenerating a little bit of health. Due to that nice XR health regen. I don't know, it's like it's hard to tell. It's really struggling. It's definitely not going down. Neutral Rocket says, I think at 51 you can do Call of Bones without taking damage. Nice. That will be nice. Yeah, that health regen is no joke. Most race co uh, class combos at this point, people are like, just play what you like, don't worry about it. But Necros, there's like no, no doubt about it. XR is the best. That's not to say that a uh, Dark Elf or Iridite isn't still good, but Ixar just pulls so far ahead with that health regen. Neutral says, and even the 49 Lich is not that bad. Something about the scaling of the regen, it goes nuts after 50. Yeah, I saw that. Between 50 and 60, it just shoots up. Okay. 
Okay, we need a steel skin. I can't wait to get that 49 Lich. That'll be nice. The insane mana is what makes Necro so much fun. So I'm going to throw a quick IVU on. And it looks like... Looks like the library is like open. So I guess we could try. We can try giving it a shot. But if we're going to do this, I need mana. So we're going to have to throw on collarbones. I think if I get the enraged librarian, though. Okay, there's a warder path around. Oh, I was going to say he didn't see me. Hopefully we got lucky and we got a good pet here. He's hitting for 43, so not the best. Ooh, there's another minion over there. Ah, sh oh wow, we're up to three. Uh, we're up to three. I'm actually just gonna feign out here. And just let the pet die. That library is rough, man. I'm I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna call it a loss and go to the tower area. It's kind of a shame because the drops from the librarian are actually, they're pretty nice. Oh, did I just train them? I did. They didn't forget about me. Oh my gosh. Oh, and then the one pop back there. I'm like, I'm the jerk. Oh man, I feel so bad. So if he feigns, they should just go away. Oh, he's out of mana. Oh no. Oh, dude. I feel like I could, like, stand up and... Oh, 
Oh man, I'm terrible. Dude, I'm... Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, that's just like inexperience on my part on like being like don't go around other people when you after you feign. <laughs> I was like totally my fault. He said agreed. <laughs> He has every right to be mad. That's that was just bad, bad on my part. Okay, we're gonna gate out before we cause any more problems. Oh, I feel terrible, dude. I hate getting other people killed. I think I've apologized to this guy like six times. Okay, Sora. I'm very sorry, Juke. Mr. Nice Guy Neutral Rocket says, I guess, yeah. No, I'm like, I'm actually like feeling really down right now. That, uh, the fact that they didn't forget about me. And so I'm like, okay, I'll just go back over here. And then I honestly, I had planned to go leave at that point anyway. And then they all ran on to him. So what I should have done was. This is classic at its best, I guess. Yeah, that was uh not the right decision there to go over there. Like I, I don't like the wind is out of my sails. I don't. I'm like I don't even know what to say right now. I feel bad. I got this guy killed. Neutral rocket says could have twitched him some mana. Oh, I'll be honest. I don't think I've even bought those spells because uh, I don't play with other people. I'm like trying not to be tilted, like I'm just running through mobs and stuff.
Yeah, I think he's like really mad actually because he was like, "Oh, you can trade now." I was like, "I I trade." Uh, I said I trade stuff off, not on. He said it's all good, not mad, just annoyed. Yeah, he has every right to be annoyed. I would be probably really annoyed too. Okay. We're just going to go somewhere where there's no other people. So that way we don't cause any more trouble. No, nope, we're not going that way. We're going this way. Oh yeah, we gotta get we gotta clear it all the way across. There we go. Let me drop down here. Just need to make it through here without aggering any spiders. Oh, everything's dead down here. I wonder if that other... Is that other uh, set of high-level players down here? Oh no, here we go. We need IVU now, definitely. I'm actually surprised I haven't run into anything. Failed, failed Crypt Raider. I've never heard of this guy. I've never seen him. Extremely rare spawn. He's a blue. Should we try to take him? Uh oh. There's Pathers. Okay, we still have IVU up. I was about to pop out in. Summon in a pet. All right, let's let's see if we can get a pet in, and hopefully we'll get him before somebody finds him, because there's definitely people around. Just gonna keep an eye out for other other pathers. Oh, 
Oh, goodness. Why is he... Why is he not coming? Oh, I rooted him. <laughs> I'm so off my game. I feel terrible I got that guy killed. I have a feeling we're going to get more pathers, so we kind of want to finish this quick. We're going to let the root break on him, and then we're going to have our pet fight him right here. Oh, he wants me. Oh, he's a healer. Oh, oh no. I knew that was going to happen. And he's healing. Oh, he's healed a lot. And now he's like harm touching. Or something. gosh we need to get a nuke on him before he gets a heal off nuke oh jeez yeah he probably heals only in melee so we can try to pull him back we need to get a root on you And I guess a Hail Mary dot, and then hopefully we have the mana to root. Okay. Oof. Let's get some mana back. We got this. Hopefully nothing else paths down here. Okay, he's down. He's a green, he's a green, so we can take our pick. I guess we might as well loot in case this still goes awry. Spear of Mortification. I'll take a look at that in a minute. Thank God for Necro Mana Regen. Mm. 
No, Jeaner. Get back. You will die. Oof. Some dicey situations down here. Hopefully nothing paths up on me here, too. Oh, man. What is this? Donkey Kong Country. Okay. Whatever. Okay, so we killed the... Uh, we killed the failed Crypt Raider. We got a illegible scroll. A Spear of Mortification. It's a shaman weapon with a stun. And an ancient coin. Let's see, so is anybody down here? Looks like he cleared this out. I think they're like all done in here. Man, I don't know, I'm just like kind of down right now. I hate being that guy. I was definitely that guy. <laughs> it's kind of a bummer. Yeah, so what's the deal with the spear? It has a stun. 
Doesn't look like it's extremely valuable. Okay, a little bit more mana and we'll we'll start some holes. <laughs> huh. He did not come. We might get two here. When ST wears off. Nope. <laughs> and it looks like this pet's hitting for 43, so he's going to have to go... We'll be sneaky and we'll root this guy. And then when the skeletal minion is almost dead, we'll reclaim energy on our pet and then nuke the skeletal minion and get the full experience. Uh, you were supposed to be rooted. Why does it keep it keeps playing like I'm telling uh Spotify to play Synthwave and it's playing like video game music. I think we'll do uh we'll do some drain tanking here. Try to get some defensive skills up.
So I'm just getting all the buffs loaded up here. <clears throat> I kind of want to know where those guys went. I like... I feel like I totally messed their night up. He's just out in Field of Bone. So I think the important thing is uh, communication and deconflicting like where people are going to be and how you're going to handle things like I, I should not go running into somebody else's camp. Essentially. That's what it is. Don't, don't go into somebody else's camp. Like I should have just stayed clear off to the side would have been just fine. And then if those enemies I'd have seen that whenever I stood up, they were like, Hey, he stood up. I could have just feigned him again. Neutral Huckett says, I'm sure they'll be fine. You live and learn. Yeah, fair enough. I just, I just don't want to ruin somebody else's good time. Uh, you know, people play these games to relax. <laughs> I live, they didn't. Dang. Well, I thought about like, well, maybe I stand up, but I don't. It wouldn't have done. It wouldn't have made any any difference. Uh, Cause there was just like, there was like six of them that, and I didn't realize he was uh not, he didn't have mana to feign. No, he was a shadow knight. And I was like, Hey, why isn't he feigning? And then whenever he said he didn't have mana by then he was like at 10% health and it was just, it was too late. Like I was watching him and I'm like, feign, feign, feign. Uh, let's see. Everything is dead. Should be getting respawns, I would expect, kind of soon, though. Nothing up here. Yeah, I guess you're right. You know, you do. You 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 learn as you go. I never claim to be like an expert at this or know uh, precisely what to do. And like in this case, I definitely know now. Like if you feign, don't. Don't go near anybody else until you know for sure that that was a good feign.
off to pay back some good karma and giving stuff away to uh, new players. Do some good deeds for the community. Neutral Rocket says, I reckon you could break the Zalgaz camp and get that sweet staff. Can I... You think I could kill Zalgaz? At 45? Because the camp is broken. He dropped pretty quick. We can move in here. Is he... Do you just sit right here? I think I normally see people like in here or right here. Let me get my regular uh, spell list spell line up here. The ramp is a safe spot. My pet's uh, not hitting for max. Oh, there's mobs under the church. We could always give it a shot. How many mobs were in the room? There are four? Okay, that's not bad. I bet they're not broken up very well because there was a high level in here. But I guess we'll find out. The one in the middle on the top platform is a 30 minute spawn. Okay, so I need to have one set for 30. Thank you for that. And then, yeah, the others are, they're definitely 18. That's the normal, like, zone spawn time. But I actually hadn't planned on staying up that late, so. If we prove we can do it, I'll come back. What happens if you fall down there? Oh boy. Don't do that. Is there any holes in the floor over here? Yeah, neutral. The reason why I'm not sitting on the ramp is I don't know where they uh, where they spawn at. But if I can see all three spawns from the ramp, then I can I'll hang out there. Oop. Okay, we got our first one. Oh yeah, they're they're like all spawning. I wasn't ready. Oh 
Oh my gosh. Actually, I don't need to use a dot on him. I'll just use a nuke. Oh, that warder is healing him. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, this is borked. They like all spawned at once. I think uh, this is a kind of a, just an overall frustrating night in Kesora. And it's coming up on stream time. Yeah, it's got to be broken properly. So I'm going to go ahead and call it for the night because it is right about time. And uh, we'll, we'll get a fresh start out of tomorrow. I'm not deterred. Uh, interesting that we got that one rare spawn. Feel really bad for Juke. I'm sorry. Juke, if you ever watch this, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll make